Okay, so for the next section, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how to do the core needle biopsies for histology more on a, on a tissue specimen, just to give you an idea of how, how it's more in a real case scenario. scenario. And I also want to show you um, what the packs look like um, that we use for the procedure. So first of all, um, it's the same setup. You can use a dressing pack for these procedures. Uh, everything you need is in these dressing packs. I've got uh, my different options of needle here. In my clinics, it will always be these automatic needles, but you're going to use what you are familiar with. Um, you're going to need some formalin um, to put your, your tissue specimens in. You're going to need a surgical blade, of which the best one I would suggest is to use an 11 um, blade. It's got a nice sharp tip to it, and you can just make a stabbing incision through the skin of a, uh, where you're going to do your biopsy. Um, we've got some lignocaine. For these biopsies, it's essential that you do put some local anesthetic in. Again, I would suggest that you don't inject the tumor itself. There's no pain receptors in the tumors, but inject the skin and the subcutaneous tissue that you're going to enter through on your way to your, to your lesion that you're going to biopsy. So first of all, if I have to take you through this, um, I've got some chicken fillets here with olives in that we're going to use as a model. So first of all, try and find um, your lump between your fingers. Then you need to work out from which direction you're going to come to, to do your biopsy. If I can start with the, um, the manual needle. So first of all, we are going to put some local anesthetic um, into the skin. I would suggest you do this very slowly. The slower you do it, the slower you distend the tissue, the less painful it is for the patients. Basically inject the area that you're going to use to get to the lump that you're going to biopsy. Once you are happy with that, um, you can then, you just need to wait um, a couple of minutes for your local anesthetic to work. You can make a small little stab through the skin. That is just to give your needle ease, ease of access through the skin. You go through the skin with your, with your manual needle go just in front of the lesion that you want to biopsy, push your um, biopsy style it forward, close the, um, the biopsy specimen port, take it out, open it up and inside you will find your, your biopsy specimen. This can be put into the formalin then um, and if you want to go in and take another biopsy, you repeat this process. What I would say and what you need to guard against is um, when you've done a biopsy, never ever put your needle into the formalin and rinse with formalin to get your specimen into your formalin solution. If you rinse with formalin and you go back into the patient, um, that is not, that formalin is very, uh, it's, the, the tissues don't like it, you're going to get tissue necrosis, you're going to get tissue reaction, um, it's going to be really painful for the patient. So never ever put your needle into the formalin and go back into the patient. You can do that when you know you've taken your last biopsy to rinse off the needle, but before that, don't do that. So just drop it in with a needle or something into the formalin. The next needle that I'll just show you what we're going to use is, so this needle is, is, is activated now, so we're just going to pull it back to get it activated, go through the skin into, or just in front of what we want to biopsy, we're going to push it forward, and then basically just, if we're happy with the position, just keep pushing it forward until it takes a biopsy, one removes it, pull it back, open the channel, and inside, will be your, your core biopsy. Again, we can take that with a needle into our formalin and don't put the needle, uh, your, your biopsy needle, into the formalin. So the next one is these automatic needles. So same thing, make sure that your needle is loaded, that the safety is off. Choose your depth of biopsy that you want to take. Always keep in mind the direction that you're shooting these needles, if, you, if it's the breast, don't shoot downwards towards the ribs. It will go into a rib, it, it can go through a rib, it can puncture the lung. So be very mindful 
where the tip of your needle is going to end up and what is the trajectory of that, of that needle. If there's vessels, you need to think of where the tip is going to end up so that you don't penetrate into any, any large vessels. So try and do it in a way that is safe for your patient. So first of all, we're going to go through the skin, um, make sure that we're in just where we want to biopsy. If we're happy with the position, we basically just press the button, everything is done for you. You re retract your needle out of the skin, open your biopsy port, and inside you will have your biopsy specimen that goes into the formula. Okay, so in principle, that is how we do these um, core needle biopsies on, on tissue specimens. Um, after you are done with the biopsy, you can apply some pressure on the wound because you do have more bleeding with these um, biopsies than with fine needle biopsies. Just remember, the area that you want to apply your pressure is not necessarily where you've made your cut in the skin. That is where the blood is going to come out, but that is not where it's bleeding. So think of where you've actually taken the biopsy and apply your pressure there. That might be two or three centimeters away from where your skin lesion is. Um, so if there is bleeding, um, just apply pressure for a couple of minutes and that bleeding will stop. Um, so again, before you start these procedures, I would suggest that you go through the simple steps again. Make sure that your patients are not on any anticoagulants, um, antiplatelet agents, um, warfarin, things like that that can make them bleed. Make sure that they're not on that. You need to ask them about that. You need to get informed consent. You need to tell them what you're going to do. Um, if, you get, if, you, if you need to sign a consent form, that needs to be done um, as per your hospital policy. Um, what I would suggest with these, these automatic needles is, is that you warn the patients that there is going to be a clicking sound um, and at some time during the procedure they are going to hear that sound. So it's always nice to, to load the needle and tell them that there's going to be a clicking sound that's going to come because often they get a bit of a fright and they, and they move the position um, when they hear that clicking sound. So it's very important to warn them about that beforehand and also when you are ready to fire, warn them that that clicking sound is going to happen now and that you're going to take the biopsy. It's not going to be painful and they must just relax and, and, and these biopsies are really done um, in, a, in a fairly painless way. It really is not that painful doing these biopsies if it's done correctly.